creep. Boom. How the heck are you crazy creeps? So if you can see the sign here, I'm standing directly in front of 3rd Street, uh, what is it, 3rd Street Automotive here right on Division in Southeast Portland. We're on 156 in Division. And right here behind me is the actual location to the original Piper's Pit Stop. That's right, Rowdy Piper, the famous wrestler, um, had a transmission store, like an automotive place. If you can see to this day, it's still an automotive shop. But him and a Portland wrestler by the name of The Grappler had a transmission store here for many years. Pretty cool. Here's a better shot of the full building from across the street here. Pardon the noise. We are on a very busy intersection. But to think in the 90s, late 80s, a lot of guys would come here and hang out. And a lot of people would also come here and get their transmissions fixed by the Piper's Pit. Still an automotive service to this day. That just, I'm just totally geeking out here. I love it. And from previous pictures that I wasn't able to find just one, the actual facade of the building has not changed at all. It's still the, the three car garage that it was originally. Uh, but no relics of him at all here, unfortunately. Um, or the grappler, so. And in front here along this whole strip, there was a fence that would line all the way across here. And at one point when you would drive by, you could actually see the Rowdy Piper. It was like a giant uh, wooden cutout of him. And yeah, with the bagpipes and wearing the kilt and everything. So pretty cool to see all these years later. Still a mechanic store and was once the home to Rowdy Rowdy Piper's Pit Stop. Pretty cool. For many years, this was the home to Piper's Pit Stop, which he opened with another very famous wrestler called The Grappler. And like I said, I'll definitely leave links and everything in the description. Um, more about um, how this came about, when the official opening was, um, how many years it actually was here in Portland. Um, the second owner after Portland's Piper's Pit Stop actually still called it the Portland Pit Stop. And I will insert some pictures of their website here because at one point um, he actually honored Rowdy and put up a little uh, memorandum and everything on their website. So I'll enter that here. So as promised, I was going to show you guys the previous owner's uh, website here, Portland's Pit Stop. And it says, did you know our shop once... Our shop was once Rowdy Rowdy Piper's Pit Stop. This location has a piece of history in Portland and we intend to honor Portland's history and traditions. So there was a ring here at one point too, you said. Oh my gosh, I would have never known that. So would they just practice here and work out too? Basically, that they is were so, just like friends and stuff. They were just friends, uh, him and the grappler, right? Yeah, I, I got a lot of old, old, old timers coming in and uh, they tell me about it. That's so cool. Uh, they, over here to hang out and tell me about it it's like well, they were here they, that's so cool yeah a friend of mine had some work done here and he said you guys did excellent work and uh then we got to talking about rowdy piper and how i visited his headstone and he said well you know there was this that mechanic store that you went to that was his old sure. piper's pit so you guys are definitely still on the map that's <laughs> so cool i'm gonna check out the back though is that okay yeah yeah i mean you can't really see much of it it's just a whole bunch of cars right now that's okay i just want to kind of get the facade of where the wrestling ring was that's so cool thanks bro i appreciate you very much if you guys can see they got the junkyard dog here <laughs> Oh, what a sweetheart. He said right here, actually back behind the shop was an actual wrestling ring right back in here, not too far from the actual building. He said there's, you know, all these cars and whatnot parked back here now. But he said just directly above this fence here was a wrestling ring. And Rowdy and the grappler and, and his fellow companions would actually train and just kind of work out while they were here as well. Love it. Okay, what were you saying, bud? A lot of the old timers from the neighborhood, this was their, their hangout for like the weekends and everything. We used to come in and chill with him and everything. I mean, all this I'm getting from the neighbors. That is so in, cool. In and out, so. I love you. Thank you for sharing that with yeah, me. The no, people no, are going to love that. To this day, he's just so remembered. Yeah. Um, I just watched that movie, They Live, last night, too, oh, okay. um, where he wears the shades and he can see all the creatures and stuff. It's a good, good movie. But thank you so much for the memories. Right, thank yeah. you. So now. 
we are on the back side of Piper's Pit, which is mainly just a, a little storage area with a bunch of tires and things for the shop of that nature. But what was really cool is he said right back here behind the building is where they would actually practice. They had a ring and all the neighborhood kids and people that were friends of Piper and the grappler would come here on the weekends and just hang out and wrestle. God, that is so cool. And Roddy called me and he goes, hey Lenny, and we, now we had done, we had known each other for a lot, we've done a lot of different angles together since, you know, in five years. We'd made other kinds of shows together. You know, so this went on and on. He goes, you know what, he said, listen, uh, I would like uh, uh, you to, uh, I want to open a small business in town. And he said, the only person I'd trust to do that or trust my money with would be you if you want to do it. And I said, well, I'm fixing to move back to, to Texas. He goes, yeah, okay, but my, but my wife didn't at the time, and my kids did. Nobody wanted to but me. <laughs> you know, so I go, so they said, okay. I said, so I ended up opening up this automotive shop, me and Roddy. And I go, so they said, okay. I said, so I ended up opening up this automotive shop, me and Roddy. And our big plan was to, to take it and, you know, and turn it into a franchise and, and do all this. Well, everybody's got big plans. But I did, I did pay for it. I promised him if, if he give me the money to open it, that I would, I would, I'd pay him his money back and that I would pay the property off. And so I did do that. Okay. We all, we all made money in the end, but so. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you stay tuned for part two coming very soon. So here's what it looks like today. I actually found this old picture of a t-shirt that they actually gave away at the shop at one point. You can see it's got the 503 area code there. Anyways, this is the Piper's Pit. Still an uh, automotive shop to this day. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum.